Yo, yo, yo. So, as promised in last week's video, today is going to be a fish content, which I need to do a water change on my 29 gallon. So, I probably won't do too much talking when I just go outside of my room to do my fish tank because my sister in law is here and she doesn't. She'd be freaking, freaking out if I like walk around talking to a camera. So we're gonna do most of the talking in here. I'll try to do some talking outside if I can. And then if not, I'll do voiceovers. But for what I'll be using will be the Python. Python and a bucket. So let's go ahead and get to this water change. Yeet. So of course the first thing you guys want to do is turn off the filter and the heater. Mine's connected to a power surge. It is very important to turn out the filter and the heater when doing a water change. So the next thing that I do is that I get some of the water from the fish tank into the bucket. That way when I clean my intake sponges, I don't lose any of that beneficial bacteria. So at this part, I'm setting up the python and then it's, I'm going to show you how I use one of that o-ring inside because it just fits my faucet. So I personally really enjoy using the pythons. It helps like, you know, not me not spilling water over the wood floor and just have not have that much buckets laying around and just so much simpler to use. So if you guys don't use it, I highly recommend it. And I'm going to teach you a little tip of how to save some water. Okay, so here's my tip. So for the Python, usually they require it to the water to always be running, which wastes a lot of water. But there's a way I figured out that I think if I'm mistaken, if the tank sits higher than your sink, then it would automatically drain. Like once you turn the water, get the pump, the flow going, and just turn the water and then it'll drain slowly by itself. Later on in the video, you'll notice that I turn on the water to suck up some of the bottom debris. That's when you want a lot of suction. But just to drain water out, you just turn it on, let it drain out to a point out the sink and turn out the water and then it'll drain by itself. I'm not mistaken, well I'm not sure if I'm mistaken or not, but it's I'm really positive if it's the tank sits higher than your sink, then it'll drain automatically. Excuse my crusty feet, but at this point while the tank's draining a little bit, I go ahead and clean my filter sponge. Well no my intake sponges, my apologies. As you can see, they look very black. And I don't know if you can tell by in the video, I'll have it, it's showing it yellow. I thought the normal color I got it as. So you wanted to put the, the sponges into the tank water so you won't lose the beneficial bacteria. So now in this part of the water change process, I turned on the, the faucet to have more suction to clean up all the debris you see I'm trying to clean up a little bit off the ground. The best part I like about sand is that nothing really goes inside the sand. I can see trying to scoop something from out of the sand and but most of it sits on top of the sand. Like gravel when some things actually go inside the gravel and you just like suck up each part. Sand it just really just sits on top. That's kind of why I like sand. So now it's time to match the temperature of the water to the fish tank. So I'm using this cooking thermometer. It works great. I got like maybe $10 on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. This thing reads it really instantly. It has saved my butt a lot. And it's so good to use. Hassle free. I let the water run a little bit to check the temperature and make sure it's like that. And 78. Now while the water is filling in, I had to add my water conditioner before and after. It says 5 milliliters per 10 gallons. I go ahead and dose the whole tank worth. So I do 20 gallons worth. That was 10 milliliters right there. So that way, whenever I finish it, like when it's on the top, I put another 5 millimeter 
to make a total of 30 gallons dose worth of water conditioner. Some might say it's overkill, but I'd rather have it kind of overdose than underdose. Again, that's just what I do. I don't recommend, or you can try it if you like, whatever you like and everything, but that's just what I do. You do not have to follow it if you don't have to. I'm just giving what I do. Sorry for that repetition of words. So now it's time to clean everything up. What I, what I usually do is turn on the suction, that way all the water can go out of the tube so when I bring it around the house it's not dripping water everywhere. As you can see I'm trying to let gravity pull it up. As I was saying earlier about the fish tank being above the sink, that way it can drain out better. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. It's not the end of the video, I just want to thank you guys again for watching how I do my water changes. It's not really a tutorial, it's just how I do it. You're more than welcome to copy me if you like. I'm sorry this is all voiceovers. As you can tell, I'm not at this house by myself. Again, thank you so much for dealing with that. Let's get back to the video. More voiceovers. So what I'm doing right here is adding water to, your, to my filter. You do not want to let the filter to run dry. Once you well, for my filter anyways, once I tap the water, it drains all the water out. So just adding water back in, so when it turns on, which I must do right now, it will run and not run dry. Hey guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the how I do my water changes on my tanks. One tank. So, it's not like a tutorial, I'll say this is how I do it. I know my cousin who watches my videos, I hope, <laughs> he recently got into the fish tank hobby, the aqua uh, aquatic hobby. So he no, doesn't really know how to do a water change. So I hope this video helped him out of like the basics regarding like trying to match temperatures and how to get water in and out, washing the intake sponge. And if you're curious why I have an intake sponge, I'm pretty sure most professionals know right now, but I'm gonna make another video about that. We'll see, there's a lot of fish ideas I have in my head, just not as famous on my channel, but I know some of you guys subscribe for fish content, so I will be providing some fish content. Second thing, the reason, well, not, re, some people have been asking about that 55 gallon I had, the series, and here's an update regarding that. So, it's not good news, but the tank might be leaking. I'm not sure I haven't read a water test. I was going to, but I haven't got to the time. And I've been not having the courage to start it. So I'm giving that fish tank to my brother, who I gave a bearded dragon for for Christmas. So he's gonna make it to a bearded dragon tank, which will be content for you guys, for bearded dragons. So that's gonna come up soon, whenever he has time and the uh, place, time and money and We'll be transferring, we'll be transferring rooms for a bit, so a lot of work to go along with that. But that 55 gallon will be going to him. The third thing I want to mention is that fish tank theory series will still be happening. Why? Because I didn't really want that 55 gallon too much. I did get it as well. Someone was offering it for free, so I took it. But the the width of it. It wasn't as wide as I wanted for like if I've owned a big fish, it would be hard for them to turn. Yeah. So what I really wanted was a 75. So in the future I will be getting a 75 gallon and that's gonna be the start to that series. It won't be happening maybe anytime soon with money's also the in the situation, just things getting messed up and about to get married soon, so that's happening. So I need to start saving up. So hopefully the wife and will agree for that 75 gallon to put in our room and we'll have that series starting as soon as possible. Fourth thing I want to mention, a little quick, I know maybe some people might have the trouble when I first started the hobby. I had the trouble of why are my fish tank, not my, why were my filters too loud? So I had a marine land I think. No, maybe it was an aquarium. I got with the kit with a 10 gallon when I first started. It was making a lot of noise. And then I did some research 
and I found out it was a super easy fix. So some of you guys that are, are curious, I will put a, not a link, but like, they probably will skip to this part. I'll probably put a description of where to skip for a quick, easy answer. And the quick, easy answer is fill up your tanks higher. If you fill up the t water level higher, maybe like, I don't, I go like a little bit above the frame, my top frame, a little bit above that is how much, how much I go. That way my filters won't be as loud. So when it hits the water, it's not making a lot of noise. So if your fish tank filters are kind of loud that way, just try filling up your water a little bit higher and see if it fixes it. So that's all I have for this week's videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're almost at 20 subs. I'm shocked, first of all, because I'm pretty boring. So thank you guys so much for subscribing to me. And we'll see you guys next week. Because I do try to post every week. I already have some stuff filmed already. Just need to edit and upload for you guys. Alright? Stay tuned. Be safe. I'll see you guys next week.